Oregon already has a law governing what cities can do regarding homeless camping. It's House Bill 3115. It was passed in 2021. It states that any restrictions on homeless camping must be, quote, objectively reasonable. Mm -hmm. Coinsex political director Ken Boddy has reaction from across the political spectrum. And Ken, will this affect Portland's a camping ban that goes into effect on Monday? Well, the short answer is no. However, for other cities, the ruling opens up more possibilities for how they handle the homeless camping issue. And we're already hearing rumblings that we could very well see a legislative effort to modify that measure 3115. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler says the ban will take effect as scheduled on July 1st, banning camping in certain areas if reasonable alternative shelter is not available. I see this as a big step forward towards the goal that I've stated, which is that we should have no unsanctioned homeless camps anywhere in the city of Portland. In a statement, the mayor said the Supreme Court decision will have little or no impact in Portland because state law continues to control and limit what Oregon cities can and can't do. However, Portland City Commissioner and mayoral candidate Renee Gonzalez applauded the Supreme Court decision and told me that House Bill 3115 should be revisited to give local governments more teeth. This is an important step uh, for uh, lo local governments being able to reassert themselves. Again, we still have a material barrier at state law in House Bill 3115. We badly need the state legislature to take this up in the next session. City Commissioner and Mayoral Candidate Mingus Maps also call for a debate on House Bill 3115. While Commissioner Carmen Rubio, also running for mayor, said she voted for the latest camping ordinance because it, quote, strikes the right balance between humanity and accountability. Governor Kotek had this to say about the Supreme Court ruling. The intent behind House Bill 3115 was to affirm that cities choosing to regulate survival activities like sitting, lying, sleeping, or keeping warm and dry must develop laws that are reasonable and take into account the resources available to individuals experiencing homelessness. I have supported cities to pass reasonable time, place, and manner ordinances, and there are many communities across Oregon that have appropriately responded. Oregon House Republican leader Jeff Helfrid says the Supreme Court decision is a victory for common sense. Meanwhile, Coin 6 political analyst and former state Democrat Senator Rick Metzger says changes to House Bill 3115 will likely be considered in the legislature in the future. I would not be surprised if you have a number of local governments and others who want to take like a measure 110 approach to this and say, let's revisit this legislation. We heard from a number of cities today, including Beaverton and Gresham, who also say the Supreme Court ruling doesn't change anything for now. But depending upon what happens in Salem in the future, that could change. Hmm. Okay, so nothing happening uh, quickly, at least. Nothing happening quickly, but mm -hmm. there is talk that there may be tougher sanctions against homeless camping in the future, depending upon what happens in Salem. All right, Ken, thank you.